say my heroic poker moment came in 2004. Uh, I was a barely 22-year-old, I guess, poker player who uh, decided to go out to the World Series and uh, play in a tournament I probably shouldn't have been playing in. The buy-in was too high, and the, uh, it was a game I hadn't really played that much, so I, I, I was probably overextending a little bit, but uh, I think I played really well and ended up becoming the youngest World Series of Poker bracelet winner ever at that time. It's hard to explain, you know, in the moment it's, it's hard to say how I felt because I really didn't feel much. I just I was very tired, we'd been playing for a couple days and it, it's, hard to, uh, it's hard to have any major emotions at the end of a poker tournament because mostly it's just relief that it's, it's over, there's no more pressure, no more, uh, no more major decisions to be made. But a couple days later, you know, when I had when I saw my picture on the wall and and I, I saw the bracelet on my wrist, it, it felt pretty incredible to be, you know, among this group of, of people who have won bracelets. And not only that, but I was lucky enough to win my bracelet when the World Series was still taking place at Binion's. So there's all this history in the building itself, you know, all, all these years of, of the of the World Series and these great moments. So it, it was it was very it was it meant a lot more being from from Binion's than from the Rio, which you know I have yet to experience. <laughs>